I'm back. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, yeah, today I want to make a, again a 3D flower, but I really want to achieve this time um, peacock colors. I have no idea if I will be lucky because I have not all the colors here and I'm trying to mix things and yeah, um, I will be doing this first before I start pouring my resin into um, my mold and I go with 20 grams for each color. So I do this step by step. Already mixed my center. So this might be a longer video. I hope you don't mind. A little bit of baby wipe. So I first want to um, take care of a sort of um, shimmery, um, maybe not proper gold, but a shimmery um, tone of gold. And I have the ivory from Colorberry. And I just take so much on my stick. And I put a good squirt of the rich gold in there, like so. I hope it's not too much. I will see. And let's get it mixing. So this is the gold. And actually, I um, want to make it a little bit more sparkly. So I have the um, flakes from Colorberry. It's from the Karat ser series. And I take just a scoop, just a little scoop. Not too much, not too less. I close this because otherwise it's all over. So I hopefully have a little bit of a golden sparkle in here. So this is my gold. I let this rest a little bit. Um, next color again, 20 grams. A little bit too much. Well, now to less, it's always the same. <laughs> Hang on, I do it like this. Just 20. Yep. In fact, 21, but this is all right. I'll leave this here. Um, my next color. Um, I want to mix, um, where do I have it, this white pigment paste from Armour Art. Um, two drops, if they drop in. One. And come on, the second one. I just pop it in so it helps sometimes a little bit. It's like chewing gum, I always say this. Um, put this upside down again. And where do I have my green? Um, I had it somewhere else over there. And the green. And there I only want to, to have a little bit, so I just put this on a stick, not a full drop, hopefully. Okay. 
See, I've now got time to mix because I always let my resin sit oh yeah, yeah, an hour. Like so. Just a little, little bit. And this should give me a sort of turquoise peachy color. Uh, peachy. <laughs> Uh, turquoise and um, greenish color, sorry. Get this proper mixed up. And with this, I know it may not fit. 100% but I want to put a little bit of this Christmas green in here and oh there's a stick I, well, I can use the other end just a little bit not much to give it even more a greeny color Hopefully, not quite. <laughs> I'll clean this. And um, with this color, I want to put a little bit of the sparkle white from Petra Jungblut. I mean, all the colors except from the gold. Uh, from just paint so and I need my forest green actually alcohol ink not seeing much sparkle now the white is really taking over so I go with a little bit more Like so. Yeah, now you can see, well, maybe not through the camera, but let me get my um, forest green or shall I go with the teal? Let me get my forest green. Standing here waiting for me. <laughs> also, squirt just for the color. Yes, look at this. It's a nice color. Um, then I want to have a sort of, um, yeah, now it's more a blue <laughs> than a green, but it's an awesome color anyway. Let me go further with a nice blue, dark blue. So here I go with the Armor Art, it's the night blue, and I go with one, I guess with four drops. It's a more um, purplish blue, actually I'll show you, i get a stick. Which I think matches this color theme a lot. And I add some of the Moonlight Shadow, also from Petra Jungblut. 
um, I guess I can use the other side of the stick, yes, just like so, a little bit. wonderful look what shine it gives and um, the other side some of the sparkle white again Maybe a tiny bit more to have this little shine yeah nice and a squirt of the sapphire blue Or two drops I guess it's enough yeah certainly nice so my third color done and I want to make a nice um, green so this will be a challenge to find the right color I want in the green also a little bit gold 22 it's a little bit too much just get some out so what am I gonna do um, I have the sparkling forest which I'm going to take maybe a tiny bit more close this one which is a really rich color yeah, also rich on my hands. <laughs> And with this color, I want to use the color berry again. To have um, a little golden sparkle in there. Like so, nice. And I'm using um, also the forest green alcohol ink. Three drops and see what it does. This is an awesome color. Look at this. Okay. What I find now that this color could have a little bit more of a sort of sparkle, a little bit more shiny. So, um, oops, because of the white. I think I'm gonna add also a little bit of the mermaid in here. It's also a very nice color. Let me just clean my stick. Yeah, it's a pity. Was all these micas, <laughs> they are also loose. And I always lose some of them on my working top. Doesn't matter, I clean this in a bit. Um, maybe I get a little bit more out of this color. Just a tiny bit, yes. So it's not so...
dull or how do you say this and I'm also and I don't know if this will fit I mean this looks still pale I wish I had this a little bit more golden let me just get a mica a golden mica and maybe it will from Petra Jungblut, also this Sahara Gold Crystal. So let me just put a tiny bit of this in here. Maybe get a little bit more gold out of this. Yes, certainly. Look, this is now nice. So, and I want to make a last color. I don't know if it will fit. And it's the Sparkling Sapphire. Let me again put 20 grams of resin in here. It's an awesome resin, the Art Pro, because you really have a long um, working time. Oh, this is too much again. You have a long working time and it's really brilliant. Normally when the weather conditions are okay, you also don't have um, a lot of issues with air bubbles. At the moment, unfortunately, but yeah, like I said, the weather conditions. Anyway, um, I put the scoop in like this. Add some of the um, sparkling white. Now it's really almost empty, <laughs> but I have still another one. Thank God. And let me mix this first to see how it's looking. Very, very nice. So I have a mixture between the rice and the gold, which I like. But I think I should make it a little bit darker. But what shall I take? The rainforest green, because peacock is also, yeah, yeah, I go with this one. Two. Three drops. To give it a nice color. Oh, look at this, how these colors are together. Wow. This is beautiful. Here, this green. We have this darker blue, like a metallic, and now I'm really doubting about this one. This needs maybe a little bit more sparkle. This needs a pop up because it looks too opaque against the others. So what can I do? Shall I put a little bit? teal in there or also the rainforest again we see the worst that can happen that I'm not using it Tiny bit of the white sparkle in there and then my colors are sorted. Mm. 
Yes, because of the white, it's still more opaque than others. Logical, but I think I can go with this color combination. Also, the gold is now very nice and sparkly. So, I mixed my colors. I now have to wait um, another 30 minutes before I can um, piping. I will prepare my piping bags. I will prepare my mold. It's a slate, slate mold. And yeah, we see each other when I'm ready for piping. See you then. Bye bye. Hey guys, I'm back. I shortly decided differently. Um, I want to layer my paints in dots. So this is a test. And uh, I think I overfilled this one. So this is not good. Let me just take some resin out because I don't want anything to happen. So I'm using the um, slate mold from Mold and Shapes. Actually, they have very, very, very beautiful coasters and coaster molds. Let me just check again. Yeah, that still needs a little bit out. Yeah, you, you fill them and then all in a sudden, oi, it's too much. So, yeah, let me just go like this. And I should be sorted, yes, I'm sorry. But this happens, let me just quickly torch. I know I should not torch, I should um, use the heat gun, but so far I didn't have any issues this torching so anyway let's get started I just did a test piece <laughs> and I thought why not dropping this in dots because the dots they are spreading and maybe it gives it a nice effect I don't know so let me lay my center just like so. Made it rather thick, so it's a nice paste and does not spread too much. I like this because it looks very fluffy at the other side with those flakes. I'm not a big, big glitter fan. I mean, I sometimes use this as well, of course. Oy. But, um, well, it's always a matter of taste, I think. And the last one. I'm just taking my time. Oi, yeah, not there. <laughs> well, I just pull it to the center. It's thick enough so it doesn't spread. Um, I show you how I'm putting the dots, but I'm not showing this for the whole four coasters because um, this, um, I understand, gets far too long and far too boring for you guys. And this I fully understand. But let me clean this up, get this aside, and which, what colors shall I start? I think... I'm gonna start with this nice blue here and oops I show you basically what I want to do
I really hope for very pretty effects. So together with this blue, and now you see turquoise next to it. And I hope somehow to get a nice effect. In between those, this is it. <gasps> oy, 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 oy. this was not meant to happen. Let me get this out. Hi, too hasty. It's not good, Petra. You're just too hasty. Um, yeah, nothing happened. You can easily pull this out, and there you go. Um, I go now with this nice blue. Just in the gaps. Doesn't matter if the drops are sometimes a little bit bigger or smaller. And I'm going to use the gold just in between. Oops, not from up high, Pete. How this is not good. And again, I go with the dark blue. Takes a while to do this. But some of the sparkle I'm already seeing is awesome. Just here. And yeah, why not? Two blues. And then I have um, the green. Just along and I'm hoping that some of the colors are really joining each other. It's my green and I will go on like this till I'm at the edge and do this with the others but i stop the video and i will be back once i drop all my uh, colors okay bye bye hey guys oy, oy, oy. this took me quite a long time but i'm finished um, and let me just um, use my heat gun to blow these a little bit out because they got really really um yeah almost Done. Almost to the end, really my resin set up and I have no idea how this is going to be. I push this all a little bit down. And I'm really curious what effect I achieve underneath. 
um, I hope that my colors are not dropping too blobby <laughs> but we will wait and see um, yeah my molds are also rather filled up so yeah I don't even know if I should give it a swirl should I Hmm, what do you think? What do you reckon? Hmm. Maybe I do it just for the sake of, of um, yeah, see what effect I get. Let me get my stick or a stick. You should really, um, that's what I face now, um, do one coaster at a time or maybe two because it really takes ages. So, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if it's good what I'm doing now. But just to put a little bit of interest in there, you know, maybe just getting these outside so it's not all blocked. Same here. Yeah, I already put my gloves off. I'm sorry. Still hoping for a nice effect though. And here, very gently, not to scratch the mold. And maybe a little swirl around the center. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes, you know, you come up with an idea and you end up with something completely different. So, yeah, I see some colors drop down, but they're still, um, you know, the back colors. So I really hope for a nice effect. I have no idea, cannot promise anything. <laughs> But if you don't test things, if you don't try things, you really never know. So, yeah, let me just clean this up. And um, let me clean my hand because it's not good what I've just done without gloves, but I already have them off. And let me just take you down for a little close up. Um, but also, let me just poke them a little bit down. So they are not sticking up. I'm happy with the colors though. This is for sure. Um, yeah. Um, let me turn the phone it might be better sorry and yeah that's how it's looking now no idea how it's underneath come on focus 
I hope to achieve some nice effects. But I cannot tell. I just cannot tell. Could be that I'm um, while the resin is still um, wet, put a little bit gold flakes around with a brush. So there's a little bit effect. Um, yeah, there I'm a little bit afraid that the green dropped. But on the other hand, you see how the gold is and this I really like. Well, we wait and see. <laughs> it could be that it's really having a great effect. I have no idea. But um, yeah, see you then. Bye bye. Good morning, guys. Ah, unmolding time again. So let's have a look how these turned out. Let me get them out first. And then we will have a closer look. I hope they turned out nicely. I decided to leave them clear. I'm expecting nice pens um, for painting the edges. So I think this will be nice. <laughs> I think you don't always need to have the background yeah, they pop out easily as usual. They are still a little bit uh, soft. But anyway, let's have a look. Let me get the first one. And I'm really, really curious. <laughs> wow. Look at the brightness of the colors. And you have the gold, it, it stayed in the background. I like this. I like this a lot. Wow. And the second one. There you see the swirl a little bit better. But I really like how um, the colors stay normally um, when I work with a lot of mica, they are always vanishing, even though when I put pigment paste in there. But yeah, I really love the colors. Nice, nice and sparkly. And the next one. And you have also, because the gold really stayed um, outside, you have a sort of 3D effect. I really like this. Next time I let my resin really sit like like um, maybe even one and a half hours and then I try to pipe these in different rows and see what I will achieve. But I'm really happy <clears throat> with the outcome and yeah the, the green with the gold and wonderful. Wow. Yeah, you can say I'm quite happy with the result. I'm also happy that the center stayed um, how it was. And yeah, let me take you down for a close-up. Let me first get my gloss off, then it's easier. And I wonder what you think. They're all not 100% the same because you cannot drop all the drops in the same way <laughs> and remember the first one I did um, separately so yeah very very happy with them look at the colors and look at the depths yeah the gold you have um, outside the golden leaves petals and that one 
uh, this one and the last one I'm really really happy with those I will be testing um, this even more um, in the future but so far I'm really happy to achieve such a um, result and also see hang on see the sparkle the sparkle of the colors with the gold and with the um, white I really like this and yeah in this case I also don't mind um, that the um, turquoise it's a little bit blobby because it gives um, the depth well okie dokie I love and leave you and I add some pictures at the end of the video like I always do okay take care bye bye